Currently in Chicago. It's a weird experience to be here. Um, this is the atrium. It's also known as the Thompson Center. I'll show you the uh, the building. I'm on the, the basement, bottom floor. Um, I'm just transferring some Google documents from my old account to my new one. This is kind of a pretty area. This is the food court. There's a bunch of... This is where I'm allowed to go and uh, feed all of my addictions if I want to. See, this is the floor here. It's a beautiful area. And then look up above here. Wow. Whoa. Look at all that. Kind of a neat building. There's a Secretary of State uh, office here, which is for driver's license. It's kind of their DMV. They also have DMVs for other things, though. Anyway, I'm here in Chicago. I'm chasing my dreams. Something I would recommend everyone does. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it. I have a lot of fear that I won't make it, that I'm an idiot, that I'm crazy, that uh, no one would want to watch a movie that I made. I don't know how to write a single thing. I couldn't finish a script if my life depended on it. Nobody would give me money to fund a, a film, especially as a first time, you know, screenwriter. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get out of the homeless shelter that I'm staying in. Fear after fear after fear after fear after fear. And you know what happens when you listen to those fears? You don't do shit. <laughs> Is that <laughs> the life that you want? Yes, you can live in your fear. But... <laughs> it's your choice. <laughs> No, you don't have to follow your dreams. But ask yourself what kind of life you want to lead. I don't know if I'm going to make it. You know, I don't know what making it is. I don't know if I'll do it in two years or six years or I'll, I may give up. It may be too much. But here I am. I made the first step.